Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name is Soki Lighter and welcome back to another Legendary Chaos campaign with uh, Archeon the Ever Chosen as our Legendary Lord. And we have the other Legendary Lords as well, of course. Now there's not much left to do and I will show you if you maybe uh, just a quick recap of what's happening later. But first we'll end the turn and we'll see what's going to happen. The dwarves are still pretty big, and we've got this interesting situation right up there, so let's see what's going to happen. They've got that big army over there, and it's moving somewhere. Couldn't really see where they went, but I'm seeing another army over here. Looks like a dwarven army as well. Uh, maybe that's that army. Don't know, we'll have to check that out. Meanwhile, we're besieging Quinellis at Paravon. Uh, it's almost the end of Bretonnia over in the north and we need to go overseas and take him out on the land there, which is a bit annoying. But we need to do it. Alright. Uh, so we're besieging Quenelles and whilst besieging the Fey Enchantress came out of her fortress, which is good. It's really good. Uh, to attack my army, Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. And she has a pretty good army. Grill Guardians, Field Trebuchet, Knights of the Realm, Foot Squires. And then they have the Garrison as well, but we'll fight them on the field of battle. And that's actually very good that they're not, that she's not in the, her uh, her city anymore. Lost city of Bretonnia over here. So yeah, let's jump in and destroy the Fey Enchantress. So it looks like uh, we have the top of the hill here, I think. I think the lighter one is higher. <laughs> you should think that I will know this by now, but apparently not. We have this guy, uh, which is very good, Ekugax, on his flying machine. So you will probably go straight, straight for that Fey Enchantress. The reinforcing army with the Fey Enchantress will be coming from there. Uh, the garrison will probably be up there, I'm guessing. But, yeah, I'll combine my army. We'll play around with the Marauder Horse Masters a bit. Probably try and send them up there. And Prince Sigvold and Ikugax will try and focus uh, on the Fane Chanters too. Try and take her out. Oh no, they're over here. It's very good. And they're coming straight for me. So throw everything we got on them. And Marauder Horsemen, I want them up here. And you guys both go first for Jasper. Jasper du Châtillon. Uh, because he is uh, leading this fight. So if you take him out, that's a bad rap for them, Marauder. And we are really out matching them here. As long as the Fey Enchantress doesn't arrive. Where are you guys going? You're going straight for my Halberts. Which I'm fine with. So if I can get around them, surround them, then they'll be finished. Uh, okay, we've got the Pegasus Knights coming up. So uh, let's try and focus our Marauders on them. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you not over here? Right, now their cavalry is coming from the sides. And unfortunately, I don't have my Holberts there. A uh, bit stupid. I was too. Uh, I was a little bit lazy there with my, with how I deployed my units, and that's going to bite me in the ass a bit over here. But nothing we can do with. Uh, shoot on them. Guess you need to turn around. My great weapons can deal with the cavalry. Right. Let's get you around over here. Okay, that's good. Can't see shit because of the sun here, man. <laughs> it's been annoying. Uh, I, the units that are over here are chosen, so that's not too bad. They can still deal with that cavalry a bit. Not preferably, but it will have to do for now until the rest can arrive. And we're chasing cavalry here, which is not something we want to do. Just get your ass over here. 
man, that Jasper is not going down so far. And now the Fae is throwing her mighty spells. But those Knights of the Realm are broken. Let's get my calf over here to uh, deal with the archers. We need to move in here and destroy them. Let's get my calf over here. Want two units to destroy him. And the others need to go after the archers. I don't want to chase them all the way on the map. Okay, keep fighting because uh, I don't want to get into that archer fire. Real knights are almost down, that's very good. Now, where is that little minx, that fey enchant? She's over here. Okay, good. Echogarx has been uh, damaged uh, somewhat. Uh, let's get him over here and let's go straight for that Fey. He should be able to win in a fight. Alright, let's get you guys over here. Get back here. It's a little bit chaotic battle, I know, but we are winning. Don't you worry. Could have done better, maybe, but it's okay. Jasper needs to die, please. Oh damn, those trebuchets are shooting at my grouped up units here. That's not what you want. Uh, okay, the cavalry is fleeing. Let's throw them at the front there. Uh, you guys go after the arch here as well. You take down that field trebuchet. And... You guys charge those knights or just throw your spears at them, I don't know. Just uh, kill them. Echogarx is uh, keeping the faint chances busy, which is very good. That's what we want. Jasper is uh, down. You deal with them. You get your ass over there. You go over there. My units are not doing anything. Just keep going over there. Okay, good. I said get over here. Get those archers. Reinforce them. And then we have only uh, some infantry and some cavalry, the girl guardians here. We're just fighting this war, not really using their charge skills to get at me, which is fine by me. You go and destroy the Fey. Still some cavalry units coming back and trying to get me. Not going to work though. The sun here is really annoying, I can't see a lot. <laughs> it's a bit annoying. Ah, now the Grill Guardians are getting out and charging back in. But they uh, have lost the will to fight. Faye will die today, I'm not gonna let her escape. And I uh, would like to get some more to kill some more of the units. Yeah, the Fey is dead. Let's get that other one as well. This grill relic over here. Go after it, please. And then a lot of infantry units are uh, trying to escape, but we'll get them. We're gonna get them. Especially those foot squires. They need to die. So we have destroyed the Fey Enchanter's army, we've destroyed uh, a huge chunk of their garrison. We have lost some men, but this was uh, probably the last time Bretonia really could do something and that's over now. This was one of their last chances against me and they uh, fucked it up. Peasant mob, we'll leave them, don't need to kill them. Men at arms are almost dead. Finish them off. And that's uh, most of it. Yeah, let's end the battle. Close victory. Well, I do not exactly agree with that. I've only lost 237 units. And the Fey Enchanters only has 155 men left of the original 
1,280 men, and the garrison is pretty thinned out as well, as you can see over here as well. We've only got this arch unit, maybe these guys survive, but the leader is dead. Uh, let's see, the Chosen did pretty good. Cavalry there, extreme good, but that's also because they were killing everybody that was leaving the field of battle. And overall, most of my units did a pretty good job, except for these guys. I don't know what they were doing, but it seems that they were not doing a lot. Uh, the garrison only had have one unit left. If we could have destroyed that one, then uh, it, the city would have been ours. And the Grill Guardians and the Field Trebuchet has, have escaped as well, so that's too bad. But still, it's a pretty good win for us. And now I'm seeing that Bretonia, yeah, they've taken back their capital again for the third time. But I'm really hoping that the elves and the beastmen over here can deal with them for me. I don't want to get back there. That would just take up a lot of time. Which, uh, oh, the beastmen are going down, so they're not going to deal with Bretonia. Maybe Prince Sigvold needs to uh, get over there. And uh, I'll send Collect the Sun Eater over the seas to deal with Britannia there. Because we really need to start focusing all of our armies on the dwarves, but still need to deal with that annoying Britannia. Peace treaty. Fine, I'll take it. Don't know what's gonna matter, but peace is always good. Not always, but in this case. Now they've also negotiated peace with all of my allies by default, so that's good. I'm really happy that the Wood Elves like me, otherwise I would have been a bit more scared over in this terrain. So Castle Casson is now uh, finally undefended and got a pretty shitty garrison up there. And yeah, the Dwarves, they just, uh, they, I don't know where they went. They ran away for some reason. So we don't have to deal with them anymore. They could still jump out of the bushes any second. But I'm not going I'm not counting on it. It's time to attack. This should be a pretty easy fight, but still the computer says that I'm gonna have a hard time taking it. So, uh we're gonna fight this one later this turn. First Prince Sigvold will level up and then we'll take Quanzel. Quanellis? Quanellis. Um It's uh, really weird that I don't get the quest battles for these to get these items. It's really unfortunate. Driven by lust. And we'll take it. And you've only got one arch unit to defend it, so. Still, he managed to take out five of my men, and the rest was lost to towers, I'm guessing. Um, damn it, now I totally forgot again if. Prince Sigfall, I think he needs to grow it, right? Yeah, he needs to grow it, so. Ooh. Okay. Look better than it is. I leveled up again. Unworthy. Causes terror. Like it. I'll get it. How are we doing here? Five. Right, Grode is uh, Grode's going great for him. I think I'll also maybe get rid of the Marauder Ho Horsemen and get some Marauder Horsemen instead. And after this I really want to get... Cannons, probably. For him. And yeah, he will go north now, and we need to deal with Leon Leon Koro over here, because he's building up a pretty strong army. He has taken back Koron, and they're trying to rebuild it, and Harganet doesn't have a lot of troops around. Uh, so yeah, and they've taken back a lot, actually. So real, really building up their might over in the north again, and I need to stop them before they can grow too strong again. So we'll divide my forces. Uh, Colleg Senator will do this fight later, but first we'll check up north. How's it going over there? 
totally different situation, almost like a different campaign up here. Uh, we've got Vlad von Korsten and Vladi Vlad, rank 33, pretty strong, a nice little strong army over here. Uh, in Erangrad, let's check that. Uh, that garrison is not too, not too great. So go in with Archeon. Damn, look at those chances. And I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Interesting. Didn't ex really expect that. I expected that I would destroy them pretty easily, but they do have a lot of great guards on rank 7 and 8. So they're not to be messed with. But, I mean, look at all the Chosen I have. And the Hell Cannons are stiff. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's uh, get right into that. Alright, so we have enough Winds of Magic to play around with. Um, for, so, the city is a bit divided. So, I'll get my Hell Cannons over here. They'll start shooting everybody up there. The Giant will go forth and destroy the gatehouse up here. Um, now, I also want Archeon to stay over here with the giant and then I want these chosen to go up the walls over here I want the great weapons to go up the wall here let's lock them up and my halberds will not go up the wall for now you know what I'll send them up the wall in the middle in the center my cavalry as soon as that gate is down then my cavalry Archeon and the giant will be enough to destroy the forces that are behind it. Uh, are we all set and ready to go? We are giant, go. These guys, go. Uh, Holberts, go. Chosen, go. Go, 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 go. Move your asses. Archeon, get over here so we can throw some spells around. And they don't know yet. But this battle is already over. I just need to tell the vampires that. Oh, look at these grave guards. Pretty cool units. That's, uh, I don't want to shoot at zombies, man. That's just a way... But it's all they have. <laughs> they have all, all the zombies up here. It's really too bad. Let's just try and take out the fort then or something. That goes well. Got some grave guards over here. One unit of grave guards. Another unit of grave guards. Get at the spear. And the chosen should be able to deal with them over there. Okay, the giant is getting into it. Let's maybe use my Flamestorm over here. Because I'm seeing a lot of units walking around. There we go. Ah, it's going in the right direction. I like that. Already did a lot of damage. It's not going to do... Okay. It's not going to do much else, but already it did tons of damage over here. That's very good. These Grave Guards are already... These Skeleton Warriors are already crumbling. And I really, really damaged the Grave Guards. Uh, two Grave Guard units up there. And it's even going back again. Destroying some zombies on the way. They're trapped. <laughs> it's really nice. Look at how long it is going as well. Oh, but now those towers are shooting at my cannons. We can take out one. Hopefully take this one. I'll put my cavalry in front of them. Then I'll... I want. It's better to lose some cavalry instead of hell cannons. Look at this thing, it's still going. It's insane. <coughs> Finally, it stopped. Damn. <coughs> Damn. I could use uh, piercing bolts of burning into these guys as well, but they're running around a lot. Uh, okay. Time to get Archeon in here and the giant as well. They could just stop running around and throw something at them again. Yeah, four towers almost down. This one is almost taken. So then they'll finally stop shooting. 
I don't, uh, so far I haven't lost a lot of units. Only the Hell Cannons have had a really bad time. One of which got destroyed. Uh, so if we can get one more shot off then, then it's the end for the four towers over here. Right, now we can throw this one in. Ah, there we have it. Finally destroyed. And now let's get some piercing bolts over here. Oh, don't move away, please. There you go. That is beautiful. That did some great damage. Now we can almost throw the calf in. Let's damage them a bit more with my units there. Okay, get down. Get your ass down. Over here as well. Get down. Get down and boogie. Right. We've got some zombies over here, but... Yeah. Let's get the hobbits down. Now, if we can destroy the men up here, then we can... Ah, we can already send these guys down. So they can attack them in the back. And... I think we're gonna throw in another piercing bolts. Over at the pretty damaged grave guards over here. Damage them even more. Got some crypt horrors there, but luckily Holberts are pretty good at defeating them. Now we have to deal with some grave guards over here. Right, here come the Crypt Horrors. Let's deal with them. And look at Archeon and Giant just killing them all on their own. They didn't even need help, really. We're gonna give them some help anyway. Alcan, and you can really stop firing. Oh, we've got a spell here, Leech. That's a bit annoying. Just stop firing already, mate. Alright, thank you for your services. But they're no longer needed. Okay, that, that army will soon be destroyed over here, these units. Um, yeah, as you can see here, the Crypt Wars don't really have anything against the Hulberts. They're gonna get destroyed. And I, I think I'll probably, yeah, I will win this fight over here as well, but it will just take a long time. Because uh, both of the Grave Guards and the Chosen here high defense and lower melee attacks so it'll be a long fight this is going great the crypt horrors are not killing a lot of my chosen halberts actually none <laughs> so uh, that's not not too bad and here their uh, their units start to crumble start to fade that will soon be the end of them Aileen from Karstein is also in critical binding didn't even see her there. What do they have left? Vlad from Karstein. Of course. Level 33. Pretty cool unit as well. It's the legendary lord of from Karstein. So uh, I want to kill him. Archeon. You go ahead and go to Vlad. It's your job to kill him. The rest can deal with the units over here. So I got this corpse card over here, which is holding on. Alright, the script was yep, finally down, so let's send you guys over here. Oh no, bats are attacking Archeon. Fuck off, bats. Throw sure a fireball at Vlad. See what that does. Ooh, he didn't even flinch. Damn. Okay, so now the corpse guard is the only unit standing here. Can it die already, please? Uh, I would like to get my calf uh, here to help out a bit, so we'll send them over here. Now this is a bit annoying, they're not going to do any damage on Archeon, but 
they are stopping him from attacking uh, Vlad. Let's help out Archeon even more here. So now my Hal Halberts will go and attack him. Okay, that corpse card is finally done. Let's speed this up. Okay, Archeon, try and get out of there because you need to fight Vlad. Otherwise, he's going to kill a lot of my Halberts. Can't have that, of course. But there goes the morale already. The bats are gone. Vlad is crumbling. The units here are finished. So Vlad, if you can just... Damn, even whilst crumbling, he still has tons of health. What a tough motherfucker. But now he's almost down. There we go. Nice. Let's see what damages. We've lost 7, 8 men. 87 men. As 78. No, what? 87 men. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not too bad. And uh, most of it is probably because of the towers again. Because as you can see here, even their grave guards didn't do a lot of damage against me. Man, I love the chosen units. And Archeon, look at the damage he did. Insane. I love Chaos units. So buffed, man. I mean, I'm playing with the greenskins now as well, but you just need a ton of men. A ton of units to take down some elite troops, and that can be a bit tricky. It's a bit easier with Chaos. Of course, you still have that fact that you are very vulnerable. Uh, that's not a lot of money. He doesn't need growth, but we'll get it anyway, because I don't need that kind of cash as well. It's no use to me. Okay, one more army over here, Isabella. Uh, Archeon will go after her as well. Over here, we'll take back Tablaheim. Or take back, we'll destroy it. And Harold needs some growth, I think. Yeah. It, it wasn't a lot of money anyway, so. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I really want to get this stuff, I guess, because then I can make the chosen units even better. As if they need that. They really don't need that. Horde recruitment capacity. Cool. Uh, corruption even more. Ooh, that Gale's Dragon, man. 25, he's almost there, and then he can get a Gale's Dragon. That's so cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Chaos Warriors, he doesn't have a lot of... No, he only has chosen units. So what's the point in that? Why am I making that? I mean, we could put some stuff in here so we can get over here. Um, we could also... We'll probably make him a little bit better in fighting. I don't think... The units of Chaos need a lot of improvement, they're already pretty good. Uh, Heinrich Kemmler is running away here with a small army, he does have some Blood Knights, pretty cool cavalry. And yeah, now let's get back over here, don't forget about this place, because Skullux in Ether is uh, going to destroy Bretonia. Let's make this a good and quick and fair fight, yeah, let's get in there. Oh, that's a battle of Castle Cascon. It's really small, actually. Sir John Terrard, but I have uh, my agent on a flying monster, so I'll go straight for him and uh, kill him. I've got the Dream Team, Colic Sun Eaters, and his two Dragon Ogre Shagots. They'll go. Let's just go straight here and attack. Uh, Try everything at the plaza, I guess. These guys will be enough to try out the gate. I'll uh, get my Marauder Horsemen all the way back here. There's not much they can do in this fight. And the rest will just climb the walls all over. We can't really climb over here. So, too bad. But we'll just throw them over here. Attack from different sides. It will get them a bit confused. 
Oh, I thought he said not a hero. Well, you're a hero to me, man. Okay, I should have sent some units over there, apparently. Uh, let's get you over here. You guys go and destroy the gate for me. And now let's see where Jean. That's not him. I think there. No, that's a paladin. Oh. Yeah, he's on the plaza, of course, defended by some cavalry in it, so. That won't work well, so we'll go for the mage over here, take her out. Uh, we don't have enough room to climb with all of our units, it seems. These guys are getting left behind, so we'll send them up to the gate. What do we have uh, to attack me? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. So, you can just go straight for their leader over there. Chant. Chant Rune Smasher. Alright. It's not a lot of Chosen in this army. Well, it's enough. It's definitely enough. Is that gate down already? There we go. There goes the gate. We'll go in. We'll destroy this guy. You attack them and you attack that. Oh, we've got some more calf coming around the side. You destroy them. Uh, where's the mage? You need to go after Alain. What are you doing, man? Main, go after Alain. Right, my men are climbing the walls. Very good. Get your ass over here. You can go over. You don't have to climb the walls. Just get over here as well. Now they are uh, preparing their defenses. A little too late. I'm already in. Uh, doing some good damage. Let's throw this at the cavalry over there. Oh, that that's very powerful. That really hurt. Right, you can get in here as well. You keep letting Elaine away. Why? You keep getting. She's getting away, man. What are you doing? Right, the uh, dragon overs need some help because this Sir John is killing them a bit. Shaken. Yeah, you should be shaken. Shake, shake, shake. Get up there. Four archers fighting chosen with great weapons. And that's not gonna work out well for them. I want you in the air to go after that paladin. Do something right for once in your life. Uh, keep going after John because he'll probably get back. And uh, you get up here. And you guys don't let them shoot at you. Stand up for yourselves. Damn, kill that bitch. Kill her. Okay, some peasant bowmen up here. Need to deal with them. Why are they not fleeing yet? Yet Their leader is gone. Uh, they are all forced inside the wall, but they, here they go, finally. I've held it longer than I thought. But they're finally gone. And we have lost 77 troops, so that's not too shabby. Man, these guys... I mean... They are pretty strong, but they help. They they can be taken down pretty quickly. But if you do it correctly, but Coloxinite is just so tough, man. Insanely tough. So there goes Castle Casson. That means after this, Coloxinite will go down to the south to destroy Bretonia over there. Come up, you can do it. There we go. 
Kulik doesn't need any growth, and we're Kulik, and we get a lot of money from this one. Now we are in the 500k money. So that's very nice. Let's level up as well. Um, Storm Rage. Damn, it's making me even tougher, eh? And we can end the turn now. A good turn in in which we have destroyed a lot of our troops. Oh, the dwarves. They're back at it again. And they're going for a sick vault. It was damaged a bit. Uh, so we could fight this and we could win. But preferably I want him um, at uh, more strength again. So we'll retreat for now. Oh, never mind then. Now we do need to win this fight, otherwise we are pretty dead. <laughs> okay, they're not letting me get away. We'll jump in the battle, then uh, we can see in the loading screen what the dwarves are going to throw at me. Dwarves, man. Freaking hate their guts. Hammers. Uh, slayers. These longbird troops. And different kinds of artillery. Three gyrocopters. And this is really a really strong army and we need to be careful here because we uh, can definitely lose this fight. And we've got that really annoying light again. I hate it. Can't see shit with that light. Uh, I know this uh, battle map. <laughs> there are not a lot of different battle maps here, are there? Played this one a lot. Uh, okay, how are we going to do this with this shitty light in which I can't see anything? They'll probably have their artillery up over here. So I'll try and get my horse masters. They are also the only ones that can do uh, something about those skyward skyward chopters. Get these guys on the hill. But we need them. Uh, this guy can deal with them a little bit. We need my cavalry to deal with the artillery because otherwise we'll not get to the artillery until we have fought ourselves through the infantry. That's going to take some time. Okay, pretty easy setup. Let's hope it works. Go, uh, you need to, you guys need to go hide in the bush over here. And we're behind the hill, so they don't know we're there. So, uh, when the infantry and the gyrocopters uh, are over my units, then my cavalry will come out and they will destroy their artillery, hopefully. That's the plan. Let's hope it will work. Got this big gyro bomber here. Pretty strong. Right, they're already shooting at my Chaos Warriors. But soon we are gonna get them. It's not come out yet. We need to be patient a bit. And as when they're when the enemy is like over here, we'll uh, charge them straight off the hill, charge into them. Uh, yeah, hammers. And <laughs> when when you're when you're watching my green skin campaign, then you know I'm having a lot of trouble with dealing with the hammers. But that's what the green skins. Cavalry is uh, a lot better against them. Right, they're now seeing some of my horse uh, men. Unfortunately, slayers are coming after me. And we've got some bombers coming my way. Let's see if this uh, dude can deal with them a bit. Oh, damn. That does some pretty good damage. And they're holding the troops now. Uh, they know they have the artillery. So they just, uh, they're just starting to shoot at me. So that means uh, they force me to come down to them, which is what we're going to do. And it's time to get my cavalry over here. Alright, get back a bit, otherwise their unit, their troll hammers and stuff like that is going to shoot at me. Damn, organ guns, what kind of artillery do they have? Pretty strong artillery. Let's get you back a bit. Our hammers are coming towards my cavalry. But no, not going to be in time. Not for the grudge throw at least. The other artillery is closer to the rest of the army though. So it's too bad. Get your ass over here and deal with that Cairo bomber. 
Uh, I don't know why you stopped with your charge, but keep going, please. Uh, you go straight for their leader. Should be able to take uh, take him out. Right now we've got some hammer troops over here, but they're not fast enough to uh, get my calf. And we have flame cannon over here. Let's kill that. And these guys will go for the organ gun. And then we also need to take out these iron drakes and these, these other iron drakes. Otherwise they'll destroy my whole army. Damn it. Both Cairo bombers trying to get away from him. One shooting, one trying to get away. Alright, get your ass over here. Wanna make sure that they can't shoot at me. Deal with that. Right, the artillery has been t uh, dealt with, most of it. But they still got the chopters uh, in the air, and so far I can't really catch them. So, when my marauders have done their job, then we will start shooting at those uh, choppers. Whereas Prince Sigfold, let's help you out a bit. Too many units here of mine on top of each other, that's not good. Okay, we've dealt with the flame cannon, so let's get you out of here. But the iron drakes uh, have a pretty high armor, so we can't really manage to take them down, not without better cavalry or better units. And the hammers were coming in, so that's why I got them out of here. Because I need to save these guys so we can deal with the choppers. Really. That's what we need to use them for now. We did all we could against artillery. Organ guns are not going to get back to their organs. Or whatever it's called. Alright, get over here. We'll deal with this unit first. He's still flying around, getting shot in the back by this other dude. It's a bit annoying, but at least they're not shooting at my units, and for now he can take it. Um, Prince Sigvold, though, is taking a lot of damage. Of course, not the best of my troops. Okay, let's now uh, finish this guy. Ooh, Iron Drakes are really close up here. Oh, look at the damage these, uh, these things did on my uh, infantry already. But now, we're... We're turning it around. Let's get on the side here. On the rear. We need to get to Prince Sigvold because otherwise he will die. Whoa, what the hell, man? What the hell is that? Okay, Chiro 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 copters are going down. They're fleeing. Uh, very good. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Uh, you guys need to keep your ammo a little bit though. Oh, where are you going? So let's stop shooting. Because there's still some more choppers left. Alright. Flame cannons fling. Let's go after the iron drakes. I don't want them shooting at me. And I'll... No, you know what? Two is enough. Three is a crowd. Let's go after that one. We need to fight our way through. Let's get these uh, torpedoes here before they can do more damage on me. I'm really losing a lot of men here, but it's just not really another way. Because this is a pretty, pretty good army from the dwarves. Um, yeah. Go after him. You go after him for now. And look, even if you attack these uh, Iron Drakes, still holding on. Really high morale. We've got the hammers over there, so we're not really winning. 
We'll get some Chosen to attack them from behind, otherwise Sigfold will die. We can't have that. Uh, you go after him and you take out this unit. Right, we've destroyed them on the left flank, so now we can get some troops around to get these hammers in the back. Uh, what are you doing? Get over here. Shoot at it. How are we doing over here? Okay, great. The Skyward Bomber is fleeing. Over here, that one is still fleeing away from my Ekugax. That's good. And we're slowly starting to win this fight against the rest of their infantry. Can we get the last one, please? So I'll send you both after him. I want to, uh, to kill him. Still got some iron drakes over here, though. Damn, some torpedo fire. I'm trying to get out the fight. Uh, let's get you two. Oh, two of them. Okay. You two, go over there and help. Uh, how are there a few iron drakes over here shooting? That's not good. Alright, the Cairo Bomber is getting out of here, so we'll not catch them. But the Iron Drakes haven't really used their flame uh, too much, so that's good. Yes. Still dealing with this uh, Cairo Bomber here. <laughs> it keeps trying to get away from me. Let's at least destroy those Iron Hammers. Uh, ah, those Iron Drakes are destroyed as well. Now we still have. Uh, a lot of hammers left. Shoot them in the back. And these two need to go after this one, otherwise it will keep flying forever. So Ekegax didn't do a lot, but at least he kept uh, those big Cairo bombers busy. So they didn't really use their bombs on me and stuff like that. Now the hammers are taking some spears in the back, so they're slowly going down as well, which is very good. Man, Sigfold just barely held on. Still alive though. Did some good damage on Ulfric, but he just wasn't strong enough to take him down on his own. Unfortunately. Yeah, you can uh, go over there and deal with them. You take on the fights. So, uh, not put you on top of each other. Ah, uh, now the hammers are finally fleeing. Let's make sure that they're not coming back. And I want actually to make sure that their leader is also dead forever. That will be good. Let's make sure it is the last we've seen of Elric. Come on, man. Man, what tough uh, little little guy. Come on. Kick it. Die. My god. So happy if he's finally dead because look how tough he is. There we go. Finally. Peric victory. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm just happy that we survived this fight. Both of the sides lost a lot of units here. We both lost more than a thousand men. But we have won. So the Iron Drakes with the fire only killed three units. So that's very good. But the torpedoes killed 150. It's insane. And the hammer skill a lot as well because they're just uh they're just so freaking strong 
But we've dealt with a big dwarven army, and that's good. But lost a lot of men in the progress. We're gonna need to rebuild a bit with Sigfold. But look at all the men they've lost. The only units they have left are the choppers. So it's pretty good. Why? What's taking you so long? When it's our turn again, we will destroy those dwarf frick. Now, maybe we'll just leave them. Or destroy them, I don't know. That. It depends on how much Sigvold, um, how many men he got back from replenishment. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'll end this episode while the rest is uh, playing. I don't want to make you all waiting uh, until the, until everybody's done. So, uh, yeah, the next episode starts at the beginning of the next turn. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, then etc. This I'm, I'm talking here, man. What are you doing? Non-aggression pact. Uh... Uh, sure. <laughs> if you want to support my content, and if you, uh, you like what I'm doing and you want to see more, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. That would really help me out. And I will see you guys very soon.